Procedural programming is a method of which you write your code based upon the action that is to be performed. This could be based off of a few lines of code or thousands of lines of code. Usually when code is of that size, it is broken up into various functions and even modules. Everything we've written so far has been procedural. Almost all the original programs that can be thought of today are procedural. However, today it is not used as much, except for smaller and simpler programs, like the ones that are used to automate systems, bash jobs, or perform a simple task. Object-oriented programming focuses on the data that's being stored and what needs to happen to that data. For simple projects, you might find that you have to write more code for an object-oriented program. However, with larger projects, you'll find that the code is simpler and easier to maintain. Most applications nowadays are written with object-oriented programming, as most all modern languages require it, such as Java, or support it, like C++, Python, and many more. With object-oriented programming, you define a data structure which is made up of smaller data structures, and then you define the functions, called methods in object-oriented programming, which allow you to work with that data. Think about the types of data we've looked at so far. Simple things like numbers and strings, and then getting more complex things like list sets and dictionaries. However, those are all just collections of simple data types in many ways, like a list of numbers, for example. Now think of a real-world object, like yourself. You aren't just a number or a string. You have lots of different attributes that help describe and define you. These attributes might be simple data types like an age, which would be a number, a name, which could be a string, a, a student number, or a college major, or many more. In fact, you can be made up of other complex data types like your address and your parents. In fact, if you think about most things in this world, things like nouns, they are made up of multiple attributes, and this is why we use object-oriented programming. You can't describe a house, a car, a person, a school, or anything like that with just a single simple data type. So we build a class, and a class contains all of those attributes that we're going to need and store and then use.